Okay, so a lot of people are asking me, why do you support President Trump? Why do you support a president that is about to lose? Here's my answer. Before I begin, I just want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content, for more truth from Israel and the Middle East. Subscribe now to make me happy. Regarding the questions, I wouldn't be too sure about uh, saying that this president is going to lose, but I know one thing, and that's primarily why I am not ashamed to show my support for the current US president. He is the most pro-Israel president since Truman. He has done so much for the sake of the Jewish state. He recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. It's something that former presidents kept on promising, but it was only to win the election. This president promised to do this before becoming president and kept his promise. He actually recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. He then moved the US embassy from Tel Aviv to the capital of Israel, which is Jerusalem. He ordered Nikki Haley who was the ambassador at the UN to stand up for Israel at the most hypocritical international forum, the United Nations. He recognized Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights and changed the US policy towards Israel, understanding one thing, that Israel is a crucial ally of America and all the peace-seeking nations around the world. President Trump introduced the deal of the century to end the Middle East conflict and the shed of blood. And so far, he's doing very well at this actually, unlike his critics claimed. He managed to broker historic peace agreements between the UAE, Israel and Bahrain. And we hear about at least seven more countries who are interested in normalizing relations with Israel. He convinced Kosovo and Serbia to open embassies in Jerusalem. He nixed the dangerous nuclear program with Iran that while the world thought that it would delay their path to nuclear weapon, it actually paved it. He stopped paying the Palestinian Authority after learning that they fund terrorism with this money. He cut funds to the UN. He raised this term, occupied territories from the US archives and changed it to Judea and Samaria because <laughs> it is certainly not occupied by Israel. And now thanks to this president, Israel and Lebanon will begin to negotiate the maritime border. So I would have to be completely blind and ignorant to not acknowledge that and say thank you. Because whether people like him or not, he brought peace closer to this entire world more than anyone else. I don't even have to be a fan of every word that comes out of his mouth. But we do know here in Israel that we have a friend that stands up for us. I'm against radicalism from all sides. I love Democrats and Republicans alike because the friendship between Israel and the United States is bipartisan and has nothing to do with politics. But I will not be ashamed to voice my opinion as a person. You know, no leader is perfect. That's for sure. No country is perfect. And that's for sure. But we certainly appreciate everything he has done to keep Israel safe. And by doing so, he helped to keep the world safe. Because Israel is what stands between you and terrorism. We fight terrorism and bring peace closer to the region and to the world. So let me know in the comments what do you think of President Trump. I will see you next week.